Can I have your all's attention, please? We took a vote in the front row, and they all said, let's get started. So we're, <laughs> we're going to get started. <laughs> Um, it's very great. It's just wonderful to see everybody here today on this beautiful, beautiful day at Northside Park. My name is Steve Phillips. I'm the, uh, the director of the City of Gainesville's Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs Department. And I get to be the, basically the, the host of, this, uh, of this, this wonderful occasion. I'd like to thank you all for attending and welcome you to Northside Park. Um, we're here today, as you all know, for the groundbreaking ceremony on the Senior Recreation Center. This project is truly one that involved many different people, agencies, and municipalities. Um, I've been asked to recognize those who have been involved in this project. I'm sorry to say there are so many people that I'm probably going to miss a few, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I apologize to you all if I don't recognize you. Uh, if I don't, I, I'm going to put the burden on Anthony Clarizio to be able to do that for me. He's a good friend, <laughs> at least. <laughs> I'd first like to recognize State Representative Chuck Chestnut. I'm gl very glad to see you here. Let's give him a nice round of applause. I also would like to recognize two individuals that were very, very instrumental in getting the Wild Spaces Public Places project started. Robert Hutchinson and Jack Hughes, would you all please stand? As you know, this project is a $5 million project with a million and a half coming from both the city and the county and a $2 million state grant. So we are very, very pleased to have that funding source to put this, uh, this beautiful center on this lovely uh, location. In regard to city commissioners, I'd like to recognize Mayor Craig Lowe, who will be speaking in a little bit. So let's give him a nice round of applause. Also, Mayor Commissioner Pro Tem Gina Mastracas is here. Commissioner Sherwin Henry, who this is his district, so please stand up and give us all. I'm not sure, I did not see Commissioner Donovan, but I know that he's been very instrumental. Is he, is he here? Okay, Commissioner Donovan is, is, uh, has been a very uh, vocal part of this, this project, so we're very glad that, that he was involved. Also, Commissioner Lauren Poe, is he in the audience? All right, I know Commissioner Tom Hawkins, please stand up. And Commissioner Randy Wells. I also would like to recognize the city manager, Russ Blackburn. Please stand. Thank you, Russ. Uh, Fred Murray is the assistant uh, city manager, is not able to make it, but I know that he, was, uh, he has been a driving force in this project as well. But also here is assistant city manager, Paul Fokers. Alachua County Commissioners, on the Alachua County Commissioner side, we have Commissioner Cynthia Moore Chestnut, who is the Chair of Alachua County, and she'll be speaking to us. <laughs> you don't want to stand? <laughs> uh, also, Vice Chair Lee Pinkinson, I saw you. Please stand. I don't know if a Commissioner Mike Byerly, are you here? Okay. Commissioner Paula Delaney or Commissioner Rodney Long? Okay. Uh, in regard to the county staff, the county manager, I saw Randy Reed. Would you please stand? Uh, and also assistant county manager Rick Drummond. Where's Rick? Hi, Rick. Um, uh, Amy Raymer, is she here? She's with the city staff. She's our construction manager. Oh, Milton Reed. <laughs> the lovely Milton Reed is standing here for Amy Raymer, who's from our general services. But his shop is the one that's taken this project and worked with the consultants. And so uh, they work very hard to get this going. And we're very pleased to have Milton and Amy in this. Uh, so let's give, give them a round of applause. Um, Amy worked with a design build team made up of W.G. Mills and I think Joe Frisco, the senior vice president. Are you here, Joe? There he is. Thank you. And also MRI Architects, Pete Ikagami. I got it right. Ikagami, who's the president and the principal architect. And ladies and gentlemen, they need an extra round of applause because they brought the cold water here today. So. <laughs> And as I mentioned earlier, Anthony Clarizio will probably be able to recognize a few of the people I forgot. And so I'm going to let, let him do that. But before I bring him up, I'd like to also thank uh, the city of Gainesville, the county, the county staff, and the Shands Healthcare and Elder Care for help coordinating this 
this lovely event. So thank you all for the, for the groundbreaking ceremony. Okay. Now with that said, I'd like to tell you that we've been personally involved, a lot of us have been personally involved in this project for several years. Um, we were involved early on, I think at least two or three years ago, working on a location. We decided the Northside Park was the, the perfect spot for a number of reasons. One is its location, the space ava availability, and the idea of adding a new feature through the funding source uh, to give park users from all ages the uh, ability to, to come out here and join the Senior Recreation Center. So, Part of the funding also includes, and this was a public meeting we had just recently, is, is improvements to the park. So not only are we going to have a beautiful recreation, senior recreation center, but we'll also have improvements to the Fris Frisbee golf course, to the restroom facilities and park features. So we're excited to be able to do this whole park in, in one shebang. So that's, that's exciting. Uh, now with that in mind, uh, I would like to turn it over to my friend and colleague, Anthony Cl Clarizio, who is the executive director of Elder Care. Let's give him a very nice round of applause, please. Again, thank you. What an exciting day. Um, just because I have your back, there are a couple of other officials who are here. Von Frazier, I saw in the back, as well as Ed Crap Crapo, also in the back. So now, have we forgotten anybody? Buddy Irby. Buddy Irby. There you go. Thank you. You're supposed to do your job up here. I don't do my best. Really, as you can tell, today is about collaboration. I mean, obviously the goal for us is the center that we will be built behind us, but today is really about collaboration. This project really started at the most basic of ground roots when you think about the number of people who were involved that really were local residents and coalition groups and individuals who just recognized that the city of Gainesville and the county of Alachua were missing a vital component for the overall wellness of seniors. So that group really started this project way before I ever came into the picture. I think they, what they were really missing was just somebody to see the vision and then move it forward. So I'd like to ask the board of directors from Elder Care to please stand and be recognized. And there are a bunch of you, so stand and be recognized. This group, along with a small core group of volunteers from the community, were really able to look at the big picture and help move the vision into more of a reality. This project, when I talk about collaboration, is really about partnerships between the city of Gainesville, the county of Alachua, Wild Spaces, Public Places, Shands Healthcare, and the Department of Elder Affairs. So really, have you ever seen so many groups all come together for one common good, which is the building that will be constructed behind us? So how did we get here? In 2008, Elder Care in the city of Gainesville applied and received a $2 million grant to help us build this facility behind us, what we call bricks and mortar. So I'd like to take just a few minutes to recognize four or five key individuals who helped me while I was on vacation for a week write the grant that started this project. Cindy Roberts, I saw, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Cynthia Chestnut, please stand and be recognized. Jim Henson, I'm not sure if Jim is out here today, but Jim was also instrumental in helping us with the actual application. Kristen Longmore, who really said, now is the time, you need to go. I don't know if money will be available in the future, so we want to recognize her for that as well. And Stacy Merritt, I'm not sure if she's here today, but she also was our proofreader, so to speak. Really that group, oh, <laughs> that group really worked very hard for a solid week to make sure that we could get that application submitted in time. Because it was the second cycle of a two year cycle where the governor as part of his, of his campaign promise um, had set aside some money for either the building or restoration of existing senior centers. So we thought we were doing really well at the time and we raised the first $2 million, but we decided that really to do this building in the fashion that we wanted it to be really respectful of seniors in Alachua County, we thought we would partner with Wild Spaces and Public Places. And as um, Steve told you before, really for us means that both the city and the county will be contributing 
$1.5 million each, or $3 million equaling $5 million for this project behind us. So I'd like to also make sure that I recognize Hutch and Jack Hughes for their leadership in making sure that this project, this tax initiative made it to the ballot and that it was something that would benefit lots of individuals, but for me and the selfish world I live in today, that it would help out seniors in our county. So again, please them, give them a round of applause because they deserve at least another one. As part of that group, I'd also like to recognize, again, Commissioner Chestnut, because she was also instrumental in making sure that we got our needs met. Um, Jack Donovan, who I don't think has made it yet, um, but also he was very instrumental. And Pagin Hanrahan, who also supported this project and helped this initiative. So as you can see, a lot of individuals in this community have been working very hard to make sure that this project got to the building behind us. So we got the money for about the last two years, a group of us have been meeting weekly and or monthly to make sure that the really the dream is a, the, the dream that we had, we were able to really turn into reality. And that's what you'll see behind us. As you can see, the building is staked out, starts in this corner, goes all the way back. Over there will be the front doors and it just continues back 17,000 square feet. So that's amazing if you think about a grant application, lots of people talking about a tax initiative, and now we have a staked out building behind us. As many of you know, Elder Care will move its administrative offices there because there are no funds available today for the operations of the center. So Elder Care will move in and host a portion of the operational expenses as just a way to really guarantee that the center will open. So we will offer a variety of programs and whenever I come and talk about this out in public, people always want to know about programs. Well, that will come in the next year, I promise, but there will be things in there that are state of the art like a fitness center and a computer lab, things that we know are absolutely needed for the overall well-being of seniors. So again, I'd like us to, you to help me thank everybody that we've listed so far. These folks will continue to play a vital role in the development of this historic center. And I just have to say, for the development folks sitting out in the room, our work is not done. We will need to raise additional money for the ongoing operations, and that really will start today. So thank you very much. You noticed on the agenda that we were going to have the um, deputy. I see. I'll, yeah. The, okay. Um, now he confused me. Deputy <laughs> Corley from the Department of Elder Affairs. His stepfather passed away on Saturday, Sunday, and so he was not able to join us today. So I've asked a good friend of mine and a fellow executive director from Elder Options, Kristen Longmore, to come up and say just a few words from really the state's perspective. But before I turn it over to her, I would like to introduce Commissioner Jack Donovan, who has now joined us. So please give him a round of applause for all of his work on this project. Oh, and I see we have two county commissioners, Paula Delaney, and I saw Rodney Long also show up. So rounds of applause for both of them. Okay, thank you, Anthony. And again, um, Secretary Corley wanted me to go ahead and let everyone know he sends his regrets for not being able to make it. Um, I'm Kristen Longmore. I'm the Executive Director of Elder Options, which is the Area Agency on Aging and the Aging Resource Center for 16 counties in North Central Florida, Alachua County being one of our counties. And I'm pleased today that Anthony asked me to take Secretary Corley's place because I truly believe that today is a day of celebration that Alachua County is finally going to have a beautiful senior recreation center. Um, I'm gonna take just a few brief minutes because I know it's very warm out here, just kind of to talk about the benefits a senior center can bring into a community. A um, Renaissance poet one time, John Dunn, made a comment I heard, I know many of you have heard many times that no man is, is an island. Um, and we take that to mean that no one is isolate, isolated, that humankind is all connected. 
And indeed, as seniors, as they grow older, they realize they not only need people, but they really need the interaction. And so what a senior center brings to the community and to many seniors is instead of the isolation out in the community, they have a place, a safe and trusted place to go to interact together. And they get to share their interests, they get to share their problems, they get to enjoy fun recreational activities. Um, a lot of times they get to learn new skills, but they definitely become more involved in the community. And it's a benefit for the community and a benefit for the seniors. So you, the Senior Center is going to be that central kind of place for seniors to come together and enjoy uh, their golden years. The best thing I think all of us know out here, or many of us know, the best thing for a senior if they're still able to care for themselves is for them to continue to stay busy and active. That continues, you know, for them to stay healthy. And that's what the Senior Center will offer. It offers many, many programs and activities like nutritious meals, health and wellness trainings, um, forums, whether it's providing legal advice. But what it's providing is a place for seniors to come for them to kind of help them maintain their well-being, but also to offer them, you know, these opportunities for interaction and socialization. With all of that, when you keep them busy and active and healthy, many times that will mean that certain seniors will be able to stay home in the community and will actually be able to avoid unnecessary institutional placement. So a senior center can be a very critical part of a senior's life. With that, um, I'm not going to take too much more time except for that I'm going to say Alachua County seniors are truly deserving of a senior center, of a place like that, one safe central place. And I really commend um, the group that Anthony has mentioned um, that really had you know, the forthright and the, the vision and to sit down and actually talk about the needs of seniors, but also to prioritize the needs of seniors here in Alachua County and make this senior center a reality. Again, I would be remiss if I did not mention and thank the Florida Department of Elder Affairs, who I'm here representing, for the $2 million that they awarded to Lachua County. It was one of the largest awards um, that was given. So, um, and it, it, was a, it was a very good catalyst um, in this. And, um, but I thank all of you out there who really did um, make this happy. And I'm not only thanking you as an aging advocate, um, but I am thanking you as a, a citizen of Alachua County myself because this is, that we run 16 counties, this is our headquarter county and this is where I live. And so I appreciate it because it really increases the quality of life for our seniors here in Alachua County. So I appreciate all of you who, who um, took this goal and this vision and you made it happen. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Steve and thank you all. We took another vote. We did say that it's almost as hot as it was this past weekend in the swamp for the football game, but not quite. It's now my honor and pleasure to introduce to you our, uh, our county commissioner and chair, Cynthia Moore Chesson, who'd like to say a few words about the Senior Recreation Center. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. This is a very, very proud day for all of us to see our efforts come to a culmination. Let me tell you a little bit about the people who this center is going to serve. There are 35,645 seniors aged 60 plus, includes me. 3.3% 3, 3 increase in the number of seniors in Alachua County. 8,473 of them live alone. 11,000 live in isolated areas. 3,500 have an income below 125% of the poverty level. 16,000, or 48 percent, have one disability. 3,600 seniors age 85 or older, that represents a 5.1 percent increase over last year, and the total number of seniors is expected to double by 2025. For me, this is very important because this allows seniors to age in place. Um, I look forward to volunteering here when I retire from Shands, not politics. <laughs> because I'm still running. Um, but I look... <laughs> I, I look forward to, to volunteering here. Next year, on Saturday, we will have the... Um, Shans will sponsor the 16th annual Senior Citizens Health Forum at the Martin Luther King Center. 
But next year, we look forward to sponsoring the 17th annual Senior Citizens Health Forum right here at the Senior Citizen Center. So on behalf of the Alachua County Board of Commissioners and staff, we are pleased to provide $1.5 million funding through the Wild Places, Wild Spaces Public Places Initiative. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce to you our mayor of the city of Gainesville, uh, Mayor Craig Lowe, who would like to say a few words. Let's give him a nice round of applause, please. Good afternoon. Thanks for braving the heat and coming out here for this very important occasion, this wonderful occasion that where we celebrate the groundbreaking for our senior center. Gainesville has achieved much recognition uh, and actually much of it is positive of late. Uh, <laughs> um, but one of those uh, forms of recognition we have seen is that we have been recognized as an excellent place to retire in our country. And I know a number of our citizens would definitely agree with that. And actually it was re rated the number one place to retire by one organization. 69% of our seniors reside in non-rural areas and most of those are in the city of Gainesville. But as the number of elderly in, elderly in Alachua County in the city continues to grow, so does the need for services. And this first Senior Recreation Center is a big step in the right direction in meeting the needs of our seniors. Many Gainesville seniors have expressed the need for this center and the City of Gainesville and our City Commission, as well as the Department of Parks and Recreation are pleased to be a partner in this project. The land that will house the Alachua County Senior Recreation Center was used as the required match allowing Elder Care of Alachua County to apply for the grant used to fund part of this project. In addition to the land, and on behalf of the City of Gainesville and our City Commission, we are also pleased to provide that one and a half million dollars funded through the Wild Spaces Public Places Tax Initiative. But also I would definitely like to thank the State Department of Elder Affairs for making this possible. And I'd like to thank all who participated and look forward to the construction, completion, and of course the important role this facility will fill for our community. But lastly, I would especially like to thank, thank the people of Gainesville and Alachua County for enabling the, us to do this through the passage of Wild Spaces Public, public, Wild Spaces public Places. Thanks so much. We just had a head count. There's over 170 people in attendance today, so that's, that's just phenomenal. Now it's my honor to introduce to you Tim Goldfarb, who is the CEO of Shands Healthcare. Tim's going to give us a few words of wisdom, so let's give him a nice round of applause. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am between you and cold water, air conditioning your car, whatever. Uh, I think we're going to do a little ceremony here in a minute. Uh, first, uh, I think many of you know elder care is part of uh, Shands Healthcare, and uh, you, you might surmise that as a result, uh, the head of elder care reports to the head of Shands. That is not true. Uh, those of you that know Anthony knows that everybody reports to Anthony. Uh, and uh, you got a hint. Uh, you got a hint of that when we were hearing a description of how this program was put together. Uh, when it comes to uh, this project, everything was nonpartisan. I think we're all a little bit uh, up to here with uh, partisan politics these days, but this project was nonpartisanship at its best. Uh, and I think it should be like that because the measure of any society, as we all know, the measure of any society is how we treat our younger and our older. It is not how we treat each other but that group of people who have uh, nurtured us and cared for us and taught us to care for those that come behind. So it's with some pride in my community, in our community, and in our political community that I congratulate you on behalf of Shans for, for what you've done and what we're going to do here a little bit later. Uh, so uh, Steve's going to come back up and, and get us going so you can get back to air conditioning.
Not that this wasn't fun. Here comes the funnest part of the whole ceremony. We're going to go now do the, uh, the shoveling. So I'd like to get the city and the county commissioners up here, please. Yeah, yeah. 